The future of money is a debate between two camps. On one hand, we have a group of people, call them the cryptopians, who believe that the future of money is based upon distributed ledger technology and cryptocurrency. This is a radical departure for the, from the types of monetary systems that we have today. On the other hand, there's a group of people, call them the fiat landers, and the fiat landers are engaged in making the existing systems work better. There's a lot at stake for all economic actors, for regulators, for users of monetary systems, in terms of which one of these camps wins the day. The crypto view of the world is driven by criticisms of the existing fiat currency system, some of which go back before the dissolution of the gold standard, and exacerbated by recent events like quantitative easing and negative interest rates. The crypto community say that the new technology enables a completely new monetary system that will perform better than the existing system, be less prone to rent-seeking behavior by intermediaries, be faster, be cheaper, be more democratic, and enable money to be moved internationally with privacy and as easy as sending an email. Fiat currency systems have been developing for decades, and fiat currency rests on a stack of capabilities and platforms, including real-time gross settlement systems, automated clearing houses, international card networks, new real-time payment systems, global wallets. All of these things are undergoing radical development, becoming more 24 by seven, more global, and more inclusive as time moves on. And this story is less well known than the crypto story. For crypto to succeed, a number of conditions will have to be met. Some of them are practical, some of them are more ideological. On a practical side, crypto systems have to get faster, be more scalable, more deeply Crypto systems can't be seen to introduce a new form of intermediation to replace old forms of intermediation. Otherwise, what's the point? For cryptocurrency to be accepted by governments, governments would have to accept a completely different relationship with the monetary system. They would have to accept more privacy in terms of payments and less ability to monitor domestically and internationally where money is moving. The stewards of the fiat currency system need to tell the narrative of fiat 2.0. They need to explain how RTGS systems are likely to go 24 by seven, how ACH systems are getting faster, how new real-time payment systems are providing a framework for completely new banking services, how open banking APIs provide a new infrastructure for fintechs to develop entirely new services. All of these developments are hidden in technical journals, only read by a specialized audience. And for the debate about the future of money to be effective, these subjects need to be brought to the surface. And that narrative has to be explained so that cryptocurrency isn't seen as the only alternative for the future of money. A synthesis between the crypto view of the world and the fiat view of the world may be difficult to achieve. There have been attempts. There are initial coin offerings, which as investments are neither fish nor fowl. There have been suggestions of central bank digital currencies, which may undermine the commercial banking system. There are some stable coins, which are no more than e-money schemes. And there are suggestions of using private cryptocurrencies in international payments, which seem to only add inefficiency to the process. So the reason why a synthesis may be difficult to achieve is because crypto and fiat are completely different ways of running a monetary system. So time will tell, but at the moment, some of these systems have been worst of both worlds solutions rather than best of both worlds. 
The debate between the crypto view of the world and the fiat currency view of the world is extremely positive for the future of money because some of the criticisms of existing systems are well founded. And if the only service that the crypto community gives is to stimulate developments in the fiat currency systems and make them better, then that will be a great thing. Whatever happens, whoever is judged to be right in the fullness of time, the future of money is certainly more 24 by seven, more global, more real time, and that's to be welcomed by everyone.